They were doing the top end rebuild, KTM EXC 300. <laughs> Massive. Right, today we're doing the top end rebuild on KTM EXC 300. Just got the piston arrived today. <laughs> Massive. Jeez. Alright, so that's 50cc. 50, 50, Molossi 70, these are uh, aerosol 70s, that was from SMT, another 70 from another SMT, uh, stage 6, 70, 70, stage 6 blew up, this one seized completely, KTM EXC 125, pretty big, 300. <laughs> I mean, this thing is massive. Alright guys, we're gonna wipe the seat off, the fuel tank, exhaust, then we'll get back to you and then we'll start taking the head off. Right, tank's off, seat's off, exhaust is off, we're gonna drain the coolant now. Now we're gonna take spark plug off, this bracket off, um, coolant pipe and head bolts. We're about to take the head off right now, there will be two locating pins. Try not to lose them. So I have taken this head apart already just to see what piston I need, what size piston I need to order. So I do know that it's quite damaged. Uh, right, we'll take the cylinder off now. Once we've got the head off, we can go ahead and take the cylinder out. What we're going to need to do is undo these. Um, undo these four bolts. Or we'll undo this first. Once you've taken these three bolts off, you can take this cover off. There is a gasket there, so take your time. But right, now what we want to do is take this little locating clip here. If you just get a flat head, see so it unclips like that. Comes up just like that. Um, you can put some tissue down there just in case you don't want that to fall down there. I think if I remember correctly, you can just pop this off like this. There you go. So now the power band rod is disconnected to the cylinder. So we've got to just undo this one, this one, this one. And we've got another cover around here to undo. Now I've just got these back bolts, these ones off and the other one on this side. So we're going to lift the head up and then catch these bolts as they come out. One, two. So we have the cylinder out. I'm very happy with the cylinder. It's very clean. Um, considering what's happened to the top end. It's all pitted. Right, now we're gonna take the piston out and clean everything up, inspect it. Piston's out. You see how pitted it is. There's a few little chips on the top of the piston as well. I mean, I'm su there's a big chip there. I'm surprised how clean the cylinder and the piston wall is compared to what's actually happened. Crankshaft feels good. Happy with that. So just finished cleaning up um, all the base gasket bits. 
Let's check the check the piston ring gap. Piston ring gap is good. Leave happy with that. I'm gonna leave that as it is. Um, so I'm gonna put the cylinder to one side for now. Uh, I'm gonna say. Right before I put the piston rings on, I'm gonna sand down all the edges because they're a bit sharp and make them a lot smoother. So. Now we can put piston rings on the new piston. Alright, putting piston rings on, make sure the letters on the top. It's nice and loose as well, which is a good sign. Kind of push it around. There we go. Try not to scratch anything. Lovely jubbly. Now let's put one of the good jump pin clips in so we don't have to fuck around doing that on the bike. We've just got the piston back in, put the new top end bearing, new good jump pin, uh, wrist pin clips. They were not fun, the wrist pin clips. Got to measure the head gasket, get the right thickness for the decking of the piston. Put the thicker gasket in. All right, so now we're gonna put the cylinder back on there. Lubed up the cylinder and the piston. Put the bolts back in. Right, so we've got the head back on, um, everything's tight, spark plug on, we've kicked it over a few times just to uh, uh, wear the rings down. Definitely got compression. Then we just put everything back together, put the power valve back in, the clip, uh, gaskets, gasket on the other side, bolts, bolts, coolant pipes, coolant pipe up to the top head, spark plug, um, exhaust, and then put some fuel in and start. Right, exhaust is back on. I put new exhaust mounts back in. Tanks back on. Connect the fuel line to the carb. Uh, I'm gonna quickly change the air filter because I've got a new air filter. So I'll probably do that and then fire her up. See if she's all good. Coolant time. Just gonna whack the old stuff back in. Hello, you all right? There's a lot of oil in it because of uh, the oil you put around the cylinder and the cylinder wall, so I just gotta let it burn out. <laughs> Footman's good. Huh? Footman's nice. <laughs> yeah. How long did that take you? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't nice color. Looks clean. Come on, the bug. The looks, bug. The bug. Looks like it's nice and tidy now. It's just that side popping out more a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the brakes are a bit shit, I'm not sure how different wheels are. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> Very loose. Loud, isn't it? <laughs> Man, it wants the wheelie though. Huh? Yeah. 